Tonight on Matty Ice Reviews, we're gonna brighten things up around here. What's up guys, and as you saw, yes, look at that. We have an as seen on TV product to look at. This is going to be the Bell and Howell 360 work light. Now, you might see a price tag right here. I did get this at uh, Dollar General's, $13. And I thought that was a decent deal for what you're getting here. Uh, show you the front of the package. Look at that. Work light 360. And what attracted me to this product was, you can see there on the side right here, it can bend into different shapes to provide you light. And I don't know how many times I've been working around the house and I've wanted you know, someone to hold a light in a particular way or shine it, you know, up or down. I thought this sounded like it was a great compromise. And it actually has two lights. So if you want something that's like, you know, part down, part up, it could do it. Or, you know, full up, full down, whatever. So, super interested. And I kind of, you know, I agreed with the little uh, thing they have on here. It can go in cabinets, you can, you know, work in a car, closet, uh, I guess emergencies is what that bottom one is. Right, looking at these side pictures, you know, it's been bugging me. I've been looking at this for like a couple minutes now, but look at this guy right here. I'll flip it to this side. Inside cabinets. And then this guy is way too happy to be working on cabinets. I mean, first of all, he's got his light in like the wrong position to work on that p trap or whatever he's trying to do he's got one up and one to the side so i, I don't know what the heck he's trying to do but there he's got this like stupid look on his face i mean the rest of these now uh, they all look normal and that one looks fine but i don't know who um is in charge of this picture but the guy's in there like I mean, I know that's how I work on pipes, though. I, you know, when I'm down under the cabinet like this guy, I go in there and go. <coughs> the key is to keep your eyes open. That way, the debris can get in your eyes and you know what's wrong. So all that rust and corrosion from your pipes just straight into your eyes. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. Okay, a little instruction packet, and here is the light. Okay, before I read the instructions, let's look at the light. Um, you know, immediate observation, very plasticky. I mean, it's 13 bucks. It also doesn't sound great. It makes that weird sound. Um, it's fairly large, though, but, I mean, this feels like a child's toy. That kind of cheap, chintzy plastic that feels like if you dropped it, it'd break. That doesn't say it's impact resistant, but, you know, here's the little cradle on the back, and it does ratchet into place, and then these little pieces right here move. And it looks like each one of the lights has its own separate battery source, so if you lose one light, you don't lose both, which I guess is nice. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at the directions real quick and see what we need to do to get this going. Uh, you need four AA batteries, two per each side. It says you insert them, and then the on-off button is right here on the side. It's not a very, like, good button. It very, I mean, it doesn't even feel like it's being depressed right now. Okay, and then it says there's three modes. Uh, you've got one light, and then you've got the other side, and then you have both at once. Okay, so there's no brightness levels with this. It's full on, um, 600 lumens as soon as you turn it on and that's it for the instructions that gave us a little I think warranty card to arbitration agreement I was wrong okay so let's go get some uh, you know batteries and let's see how this thing works all right guys we've got our batteries installed so let's see what this looks like when we turn it on there's both that is really bright I mean totally bleaches me out but super super bright and then as you can see, that does change, you know, the direction. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I mean, very rarely would you want to light something up like that, but if you're in a small space and you wanted something to sit there and light up two sides of, like, a small, you know, inlet or something, that would be nice. Um, I'm kind of liking this the more I play with it because I can see the usefulness in, like, working on your home. 
Let's hit the button once. Sorry, it's on this side. There we go. One lights up. There's the other one. And then off. And this does feel like, you know, it would hold its position. I mean, I could clearly set it down and it stays upright. So, you know what, let's, uh, let's take this into a dark room and kind of see what it looks like. You know, how much light 600 lumens is. Okay guys, you should barely be able to see me in here. This is uh, our bathroom and I decided it was a nice dark room that just has uh, one little night light in the corner uh, going on right now. So we are going to turn on this little light and we'll see how much light we get in here. Jesus, lights up the whole space, my god. I mean, that's just this, that's, you know, that's both of them on at the same time, but my goodness, that's bright. Okay, even one is still very, very bright. I mean, I can see perfectly in here. We can, you know, hang it up here on my rack. If we could have some light. This would be great in emergency situations, or maybe if you were someone who had like an RV and you wanted like a backup light source. I'm really impressed with it so far. I mean, it puts out a decent amount of light. Here's our cabinet where we were, we were uh, recently doing some plumbing work. And I really could have used this because, I mean, look at that. I can angle this wherever I need. If I want light up here on the pipes, I can do that. I can push the button if I need light on, you know, the bottom. If I want both lights on, if I just want this top port illuminated, I can angle that where I want. Man, I, you know, like I said, I'm really impressed with this the more I play with it. I think it's a nice light and it has some decent versatility. But okay guys, so I know it's not rated for this, but as you can see right here, I've got you know, a couple inches of water. It's like three, four inches of water in my sink. Let's see, I know this says it's weather resistant, but what the heck does that even mean? You know, it should be able to take a dunk into the water and keep working. Now let's uh, just run it as is. We're just gonna toss it right in and let's leave it. Hey, it floats a little bit. That's kind of cool. Let's just let it float there for a second. Submerge it. Ooh, there's lots of bubbles coming out. That's probably not good. Flip it upside down. Duck it underwater. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's already um, having issues. Uh-oh. So we didn't dunk it that long. I mean, the lights still work, but when it's off now, you can see the LEDs are lighting up. That's that's not good. And I can hear there's water trapped in there. Can you hear all that water trapped in there? I don't know how that's gonna come out either. I don't know where it's actually gone that it's stuck in there. It must have gone into you know this folding mechanism somewhere. Okay guys, so what are my thoughts on the Bell and Howl 360 work light. Um, you know, I like being able to use a light that can flex into multiple positions. I think that's great. It's nice that two buttons, one, one, on, off. I uh, don't really need uh, different brightness levels and the amount of flexibility this gives you is very reasonable, I think, for the price at $13. And 600 lumens is a lot of light. For a small place, I mean, that's going to be equivalent to, you know, a decent sized work light. Do not put this in water. Um, <laughs> it has been, I don't know, yeah, I'll show you guys. This has been about two hours and I've still, yeah, you can see the wetness on there. There's still water dripping out of it. Even on the front, it's coming out of the spine now. You can see little droplets right there. It's uh, still leaking water. Um, so definitely don't put it in water. Water resistant, probably not accurate either. I think the box had it right. It's weather resistant, which I think means you get a little bit of water on it, not the end of the world. It'll probably survive. But as you can tell, I mean, 13 bucks, what'd you expect? I, I do, you know, like all the things that I've mentioned about it. A lot of flexibility, great tool for around the home and you know, just being able to go into a cabinet and look up at pipes and go <coughs> while you work is amazing. I mean, that's a dream come true. That's <laughs> I'm glad that I have the flexibility to angle light directly at what I'm looking at and make that god awful creepy face. All right, guys, I think it's a decent pickup if you want a little work light for around the house. It's not going to break the bank. It takes double A batteries. I think y'all should gown get yourself one. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. 
We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.